partenariat scellé entre le ministère de l'Agriculture et du Développement Rural et les établissements privés de formation à vocation agricole et rurale. Ce 20 juillet 2018, dans la salle de conférence de ce département ministériel, partenariat mis en place en vue de développer les stratégies définies dans le cadre de ces conventions. Pour s'engager dans l'agriculture, il faut se former. Et euh, l'autre mot-clé, il faut se professionnaliser. Et nous avons un troisième mot-clé, c'est développer des synergies d'action. Alors les synergies, c'est déjà entre les ministères en charge de ce secteur-là, euh, au niveau du public. Mais en même temps, c'est travailler de telle façon que l'offre de formation nationale, l'offre nationale de formation, puisse euh, atteindre euh, les attentes. La formation professionnelle agricole et rurale constitue dans un contexte où le Cameroun jouit d'immenses potentialités le socle principal de la construction d'une agriculture performante. Sur le plan pratique, désormais les concours d'entrée dans les écoles de formation seront organisés par le Minader à travers la division de l'enseignement et de la formation agricole coopérative et communautaire des FAC. Une bonne nouvelle pour les promoteurs de ces établissements privés à vocation agricole et rurale. La formation agricole se porte à peu près bien. Nous sommes convaincus qu'avec le grand coup de pouce de ce jour, nous allons nous porter mieux. Vous savez, l'agriculture de ces gangs de génération qu'a lancé le chef de l'État lors du commissaire agro-pastoral de Bolova ne peut être mise en œuvre qu'avec des ressources humaines efficiemment, efficacement bien formé. Rappelons-le, selon les dispositions du document de stratégie pour la croissance et l'emploi du Cameroun, la formation professionnelle doit être orientée vers les résultats probants et doit de ce fait intégrer à la fois l'approche participative et l'approche par compétence. in time viewers if you are just switching on your television set we are talking on pan-african institute's role in cameroon's education this is your program known as experts what is the role of pan-african institute for development west africa in the educational policy of cameroon with us today we have the dean of studies right away from Boya. Dr. Gotswe Asongwe Azinwe is going to tell us more about the institution. Doctor, you were talking about uh, environmental law policy or environmental politics. What is environmental politics if we might come to that? Well, aspects of the environment are location specific. Okay. They are country specific. Mm -hmm. And uh, Something that is accepted in one country may not be accepted in another country. country. Yeah. Something that is, let's look at the environment. There are a certain species of animals that maybe they are in plenty, they are plenty in this country. So you see, maybe that country will give little respect for the management of that particular species. Okay. But in another country, it may be very rare. So they will give more respect to that. So you see that the location where you find yourself has a lot to do with environmental po laws, policies, and uh, regulations, which says that, therefore, if you find yourself in a particular area, mm -hmm to actually bring in laws policies okay. for the regulation of the environment in that area the people of that area should be involved 
within in the development of the laws because those laws will be implemented in their own area so there is a need their need for consultation before the implementation and enactment of environmental laws one of the most important aspects that most countries feel to put in place is enforcement the enforcement of the laws just developing the laws is important people will know that this is what i would like to do mm -hmm. if somebody does not implement the laws yeah. what will you do That's if true. the person goes off free the laws are useless mm -hmm. if you develop laws without making those who are supposed to implement the laws be part of the process of development implementation and monitoring yeah it is bound that the laws will fail yeah. so those are certain aspects in environmental laws that we fail to take into consideration okay. and we fail from there you were talking about uh, the public health department in your institution what type of public health are you talking about i know when people hear about public health they would think we are talking about training nurses yeah we have a model we know the mo the primary thing in health care is prevention okay for people to know what is happening and be capable of preventing diseases our own direction we are not moving towards the treatment of diseases we offer primary health care we take from the AMA Mata declaration that the WHO supports that in primary, the first thing to do, it is not in the hospitals. Let us, we train people who will get into the communities on the prevention and train those that are in the communities on how to prevent diseases, how to identify diseases and transmit the information. So basic uh, practices in our communities. We don't train doctors, we don't train nurses, but we train health workers, community health workers. Okay. People who know the basic practices of the prevention of diseases, mm -hmm. of how you can promote health, healthy living, what should be your diet. All so right. people will then get into the communities and identify those and train the people in the communities. And if that is done in the communities, you see, you have very few people coming into the hospitals mm -hmm. for the treatment of diseases. The disease will be prevented. You will teach them on what they need to eat. And if you eat the right food, you will not be sick. Mm -hmm. If you train them in the communities how to take care of their water, how to take care of their sanitary issues, issues. you will not have problems. You, they will not have diseases to come into the hospitals. And we know if you go into the hospital, you go for hospitals, huge sums of money are spent, like M. Lalonde said, that you see huge sums of money are, are spent in hospitals, in the treatment of diseases, which would have been prevented if we gave uh, reference to training the community members on healthy living, good sanitation and that is why you see the pan-african institute for development they have a vision of being a reference center for concerted decent and sustainable development therefore we will bring you together to make sure that you know what to do All to right. prevent the disease we will teach you how to clean your environment since we will come with you we we'll discuss with you in a participatory manner mm -hmm. you will know the right thing to do and not imposing on you All right. we will come and live they will live in the communities with you they will show you examples for you to copy so that is our model so if everybody goes into community health that means the hospitals will be kept aside <laughs> it is our privilege if we are succeed in doing that yeah. if we succeed in doing that totally it is beneficial to the government because if you look so huge sums of money okay. the amount of money that is spent in hospitals mm -hmm. in the treatment of diseases that amount of money 
if sent for developmental projects, mm -hmm. I think Cameroon will be emerging by 2020 and not 2035. Okay. Of which we are talking. Okay, thank you very much, Doctor. Our uh, viewers of Seven News Television, at this point in time, we're going to follow another report uh, done by a reporter known as Glory talking about the presidential candidates of the 2019 presidential election. Let's get it. In view of the presidential elections of 7 October 2018 in Cameroon, nine candidates have qualified to run for the race. Since the declaration, different schools of thought have diverse views as to whom they will vote on that day. Some Cameroonians think the old have the experience and wisdom to take the country forward, while others believe the youths are energetic and vibrant to take the lead. I respect those who have really this profile, the maîtrise politique comme à l'instar du chef de l'État, qui est dans une des, des conditions et des non programmes qui est vraiment intéressant pour nous les Camerounais, qui doit toujours être dans un programme à respecter, surtout au Cameroun, qui a toujours plein d'avenir. Parce que là, d'autres se jugent sur certains programmes, à savoir euh, l'homme, le vieux lion, qui est son âge. Moi, je pense que ce n'est pas le plus important. Le plus important, c'est accepter, c'est accepter la politique de l'homme qui peut nous amener en Cameroun. All the Cameroonians are of the opinion that a coalition between Joshua Osi, Cabral Libi, and Maurice Kanto can build a greater force and make the opposition be the occupants of the Unity Palace in order that the country be free from poverty, unemployment, and social unrest. Joshua Cabral Libi, Serge Espoir Matomba et Kanto, ils pourraient bien s'allier. Moi, je pense que ces quatre-là, je pourrais bien décider de s'allier parce que pour moi, euh, s'il ne s'allie pas, ce sera difficile de battre euh, le président Paul Biya. Parce que déjà, il n'y a pas beaucoup de personnes qui, sont, qui ont une carte d'électeur. Donc ça fait déjà que le nombre de personnes, le nombre de, de votants, bah, ça va être très réduit par rapport au, à la diversité, à la, aux divers candidats qui sont assez nombreux, je pense. Cameroonians are looking forward to see the next occupant of the Unity Palace. Thank you very much, Glory Mala, for that report you just made concerning the presidential aspirants for the 2019 presidential election. Viewers, if you are just switching on your television set, you are a bit late because gradually we are getting to the end of this program. Today, the program expert or this edition is talking about Pan African Institutes for Development's role in Cameroon's education. With us, is the Dean of Studies of Pan-African Institute, Mr. or Dr. Godswill Asongwe Azinwe. Yes, Doctor, once again, thank you for coming for this program. Thank you. Let me find out something from you. What do you think the President of the Republic should do to improve on the educational system of the country? Uh, first and foremost, we have realized that from some of the studies that we've carried out within Cameroon, that our education, our curriculum does not train students for the job market. Mm -hmm. There's little entrepreneurship. You know, when you are a student, if you have the opportunity to go for internship, to get into companies and have the real work, the technical training mm -hmm. most of our when you look at most of our educational uh, curriculum it is theoretical too theoretical yeah so students are not ready for the job market because mm -hmm. they do not have contact with companies whereby the practical aspect is done they don't have laboratories so we lack those aspects 
I think the best president should be one that teaches or brings out the aspect of entrepreneurship within the students. We redesign the educational curriculum that gives more on practicals and less on theory. Sorry. If I had the opportunity, I would rather prefer that the president should look and identify students when you have a direction of thought. When we identify your skills, we push you towards and encourage you towards that direction and not allowing people to do everything general. I passed through general education. <laughs> I did plenty of things that are general. It is only at the apex that I discovered that I have to pick up something. something. And that is what is helping me now. Okay, oh, before we put or the draw the cutting close on this program, Doctor, you talk of Pan African Institute Boya. Is it only found in Boya? Well, the Pan African Institute for Development in West Africa, Pedro Boya. We have our headquarters, the regional headquarters for the English speaking West African countries in Boya. Boya okay. In Boya, but we have learning support centers. We have one learning support center in Bamenda okay. at Sonat Street. We have one in Douala uh, that is hosted by the EPD, no. that is our French counterpart that does the French education in Central Africa. We have uh, learning support center here at Etukebe and uh, all lectures are done there in English. So, so when when is your, your the new academic year starting in your institution? We will start on the 22nd of October. We are very, very ready to start on that time. Okay, thank you very much, Doctor, for coming to talk to us or be our guest on Seven News Television. The pleasure is mine. I would like to thank the management of the Seven News TV for inviting me or giving the Pan-African Institute this opportunity to be in this panel. Thank you. It is such a wonderful pleasure that we are coming to the end of this program known as Experts. Viewers of Seven News Television, for this program to be successful, it is not the presenter alone. He has a lot of people working with him. The cameraman, there is a special person behind me inside a cabin controlling the buttons that you don't see. It is not Takang Bisong alone. You have the editors as well as the interns who are here to assist me. This program expert is coming to a close at this point in time. It's not seven news. Keep on watching seven news television. It is your favorite and your best inside Africa, not to talk of Cameroon. I love you all and God bless you.